How's it going everyone? Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a Tau Biorla, aka the white Tau color scheme. As you may know, painting white can be frustrating and difficult if you don't know what to do, but uh, there's a few steps that you can take to make it easier for yourself, and in this video I'm going to talk about them. And if you find this video useful, please give it a like, uh, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. That really helps out my channel. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll get started. I'm going to start by priming the model in white, a very uh, light coat of white primer, just to give it a little bit of surface um, adherence for the paint to attach to. And we're going straight to white because we're going to start using Ulthuan Grey to uh, paint all of the armor on the model. This is uh, very important to start with white because uh, this color is a layer paint and it's going to be hard to stick onto the model and to cover over other colors. So I really recommend you using white and uh, also thin down the, the paint so that it doesn't leave any marks. Just uh, paint quickly and move around the model quickly, allow it to dry and give it a second coat if it needs to. Here I'm using black, uh, Vallejo model color black. You can use Avedon black or whatever black color you like. And carefully with a, with a fine tip brush, I'm going to start painting all of the places that I want to be black. Uh, it's inevitable to mess up here and there, so I'm going to come back and uh, repaint those places where uh, I touched with black where it should be white. If you need a little help covering over the white, uh, you're going to need a Celestra Grey first and then a uh, layer of Ultun Grey. That'll make it easier for you to cover. Next, I'm going to use Downstone. With this color, I'm going to paint all of the places that are going to be grey. This is a fairly easy step. If you want to leave the shoulder pad or the shoulder uh, shield on this uh, towel miniature out of the miniature and attach it later, because it does get on the way, you can do that. I didn't do it because I usually uh, just paint the uh, completely assembled models, but it, it really got in the way, so if you can do that, uh, do it. I'm going to use corn red to paint all of the tile symbols around the model, just like this. Just remember that all of the paints that I'm using here are thinned down, uh, just enough so that they don't, um, they flow easy and they uh, don't leave marks. And here comes the tricky part, which is going to be uh, using the Agrax Airshade very carefully, only painting on the uh, recesses of the model. This is not as hard, you have to take your time and just uh, put it on the little crevices here and there, and move uh, patiently around the model so that it doesn't stain the white too much, because uh, we can come back and clean it up, but it's harder to clean up a large area of white with thin coats of white without messing up. So this is going to be actually easier. Uh, this color I'm going to use to completely cover the red and the gray as well. Next I'm going to use Dark Reaper and uh, this this color I'm going to use it to uh, base coat the skin of the model. Uh, you can use the Fang. The Fang is a better op option actually. It's a little bit more brighter blue. But this color will do. This is the color that I had, I had at hand. So I, start, I use that on the skin of the model. Next, I'm going to use Rust Gray. And with that, I'm going to cover over the, the complete area that I painted uh, with uh, Dark Reaper. This is just, uh, the Dark Reaper was just the base coat for uh, making easier for the Rust Gray to cover. So it's, it's whatever color you want to use, is either one. Uh, but I painted the whole area again. Next, I'm going to use Rhinox Hide, and with this color, I'm going to paint the hoops or these things on the feet. And they look like hoops. After that's done, I'm going to paint uh, both areas with null oil. This is just a quick wash over the whole area, just to establish the uh, crevices and contours of the feet. Once it's done, I'm going to paint Balthasar gold. Uh, here I messed up because I forgot to paint the gold. Uh, you're supposed to paint the gold before you use the Agrax Airshade so that you can shade it in Agrax Airshade. But uh, it's, it's alright, I just skip that step. Uh, after this you can uh, shade it with Agrax Airshade and uh, you're good. 
Next, I'm going to go back with Ulton Gray after the wash and everything is uh, dry and settled in. I'm going to come back and clean up all of those places where I used a little bit too much wash or it got uh, stained by other colors or whatever. So just uh, give it a quick cleanup just to make it look a little bit better. And that's it. Next, I'm using Vallejo model color white. You can use white scar or whatever white color you want to use. Uh, this is the brightest highlight of the white. Uh, this is pure white. Uh, as I said before, when painting white, you have to use a very um, off-white, a very close to white but not quite color as a base coat and bring it up to a pure white on the brightest highlight to make that illusion of depth because white cannot have a brighter uh, highlights than white itself so um, here I'm moving to ash and gray you could also use the dark reaper to give it a bluisher tint to the shadows on the black I went with a uh, normal ash and gray just to uh, highlight the folds of the uh, the suit uh, all of the uh, places that are uh, protruding from the uh, miniature you just paint them with this color after that I'm going to use downstone and with this I'm going to uh, give a, a final highlight to the clothes on the miniature on the places that are more raised and that reflects more light uh, leaving a little bit of the other color behind and also I'm going to use this color to highlight uh, the gray places around the armor and the gun Once that's done, I'm going to move ahead and use uh, Administratum Gray. With this color, I'm going to edge highlight all of the gray parts. This is just a very quick, uh, there's not too many gray parts in this miniature. But I imagine if you're painting a, a bigger model, uh, maybe it has a lot more places that are going to be this color. So I just uh, edge highlight them with Administratum Gray. Once it's done, I'm going to go back to Corn Red and I'm going to paint the symbol, the symbol on the helmet. And this is a, bit, a little bit hard. You have to thin down the color to a kind of inky consistency and do lines just like that, having a, trying to being uh, clean with your lines. Uh, I didn't do it very well ultimately, but I came back with white and cleaned over the edges and uh, get it to look uh, kind of decent. Uh, this is all uh, like being uh, having a steady hand and being very careful. Next, I'm using Evil Sun Scarlet, and with this color, I'm going to edge highlight all of the red uh, just to give it a little pop. I didn't take it as high as I should. You could uh, give it an extra highlight to make it pop a little bit more, but I wanted to, the red to stay dark so that it contrasts the, the, the white armor, I guess. Here I'm using Sawtech Green and with this color I'm going to paint all of the places that I want to be glowing blue and I'm going to go all the way into the recesses so try to keep this layer thin. Next with Temple Guard Blue I'm going to paint all of the edges around the glowing uh, eyes. Uh, this is going to do a little bit of a glow effect around the lenses and also I'm going to paint the round uh, like donut shapes in the side of the mask. The lenses that's what they are but they look a little bit uh, like donut shaped next I'm going to use a little bit of white and just paint it on the farther uh, top right place on the lenses and this will give it a lens effect also in other the scope and stuff like that once it's done I'm going to highlight the Balthazar gold with I'm going to use a bright bronze uh, but you can use uh, Psychorax Bronze from uh, Citadel. Uh, I really like this color a lot. It's uh, my Psychorax Bronze is uh, not that great compared to this color, so I chose that instead. Here I'm using Rust Gray again to clean up the places on the skin. This is just uh, trying to cover the highest raised parts, leaving a little bit of the shaded color behind. After that, I'm going to use from Rishin Gray and I'm just going to pick up the, the most raised places on the skin. And just a very quick way to paint the skin. And to finish it up, I'm going to use Scrap Brown as a highlight to the Rhinox Hide. This is going to go only on the very 
bottom edge of the hooves. So that's it. This is how I painted this Tao model. It's actually easier to paint white when you have a white base uh, for, to start with and you just paint around that and being very careful, careful not to paint over it with other colors because it's, it's hard to clean up when you mess up. But there's ways around it. It's not super hard. It's hard, but it, the end result uh, re is really worth it. Try to keep your layers thin and uh, let them dry before you apply more color on top of it. That's uh, really key not to get any strokes or uh, crumbs of paint around the model. So that's it. I hope you find this video entertaining and helpful. And if you like it, don't forget to like the video, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos in the future. That really helps out the channel. Become a patron if you can. That really helps me out, put up more videos. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.